you are to their relationship. They would also like to recognize all those who could not make it here today, as they are certainly missed, but not forgotten on this day of celebration. Speaking of important people, there were none more important in influencing the lives of Kayla and Kevin than their parents. With that being said, who gives Kayla away in marriage to this man? After this day, you will feel no rain, for each of you will be a shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. There will be no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life ahead of you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion, and your days together be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect. Remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your relationship deserves. And remember to focus on what is right between you. The bride and groom have prepared their own vows, which they will declare now. Kayla, I have loved you since you got out of the car October 20th, 2013. The second I had light eyes on you, I knew you were something special. They say behind every great man is an even greater woman, and I have never felt that to be more true with you. They also say it's easier to bring someone down than to pick somebody up. When we met, I was lost, and I had no clue what I was doing, even, even with myself. You have given me so much strength that I feel like I could move mountains with you. When I think of you, you aren't just my girlfriend, wife, you're my partner. You're my partner in the sense that together we are stronger than we are apart. You make me want to be a better person, to better myself, so I can be a better provider, a friend, lover, and an all-around better man for you. That is what I feel is love, somebody that brings you up and makes you want to be a better person. I feel that when I have you by my side, anything is possible. For as long as we are together, I vow to be there for you in any way that I possibly can. You are my best friend, and I would do anything for you. I vow to always be a faithful and passionate lover. I vow to provide for you and our future children in the sense that, or any way that I can. I vow to care for you in sickness, health, wealth, and poverty. I vow to always open doors for you and be chivalrous. I vow to always make fun of you when you do something that deserves it. <laughs> I vow to always treat you like my queen. I vow to always protect you from anything that means you harm. And I vow to always lift you up and tell you things are going to be okay, even when I don't know if they really are myself. I vow to always put your needs above mine, and I vow to continue to be the man that you built me up to be. I vow to always love you and care for you as a husband should until death. Baby, you're stuck with me for life. <laughs> I have never in my life been more confident into the decision I needed to make today. My world was turned upside down when you entered it. I knew the moment we first embraced that you were going to be the one that I would get to share my life with. You were the most thoughtful, caring, intelligent, gentle man I've ever known. You make me fall in love with you over and over again, multiple times a day. You make me feel invincible. You love me unconditionally despite my flaws. You empower me, motivate me. You make me realize each and every day how lucky I am to be able to call you mine. You love me even though I yell at you in the open to the grocery store. <laughs> I love your quirky humor, your obsession with space and technology. I adore the warmth of your hands, the way that you spin your cookies and your cookies. I love those mornings when you lay in bed for hours laughing. I love the way you treat our animals as if they are our children. The way that you listen to my crazy ideas and catch me when I fall figuratively and literally. I love that over the past year I've never faced life's challenges without your unconditional love. Even on the days when I have struggled, when the future seems uncertain and not once did I have to walk alone. Share something that nowadays is hard to find. I love that it's so powerful, so beautiful, and I vow to never let this fire of this year grow dim. I promise that my love will never grow tired. I promise to be your confidant, your companion, but mostly your friend. I promise to make you laugh on troubled days, to rub your back before you fall asleep, to remind you every day just how amazing you are. I promise to be your constant.
cancellation during passenger appointments. So always encourage the passions and work of your dreams. I promise to be ever faithful and patient. To not, not only listen, but to relate. To always make fun of you for the way you pronounce water. <laughs> I vow to always have the patience that love demands. And to speak when words are needed. And to share the silence when they're not. I vow to take care of you when you're sick. And make you go to work when you can't. <laughs> the best mother to her future children as possible. And most of all, I vow to never forget this moment, to always remain the same person that you fell in love with in the loving arms of the Queen Victoria. Will you, Kayla, take Kevin to be your husband? Will you love and honor him in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? Will you, Kevin, take Kayla to be your wife? Will you love and honor her in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? Kayla and Kevin have just sealed their relationship with the giving and receiving of the rings. Today, their relationship is further symbolized by the tying of a fisherman's knot, a true lover's knot. For it is the strongest there is. Its bond will not break, becoming stronger under pressure. Kayla and Kevin, will you please tie this knot? These two cords represent your past, each of you as individuals, and the unique and special gifts you bring to your marriage. As you fasten the pieces together, these actions represent the present. This moment when you join your two lives together into one common purpose. A completed knot represents your future, secure in the knowledge your relationship will continue to be strong despite the ine inevitable change that life brings. Although the fisherman's knot is the simplest to tie, it is also one of the sturdiest. As stress is applied, the knot becomes ever stronger. It is the goal of marriage to achieve a blending of hearts and lives. But like the spaces between these cords formed by the knot, let there be also spaces in your new life together so that each may encourage and nurture the individual growth of the other. I ask that you now pull this rope and see its strength under pressure while still allowing us to see the individual cords. Just as your support of one another as beautiful and blessed individuals strengthens your union. As you hold one another in mutual concern and shared respect, may you continue holding each other tightly in your hearts and form a strong bond now and forever. Let this knot indicate the strength of your love and be a symbol of your unity from this day forward. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. By the virtue of the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Family and friends, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Kuznar. Is that the rope from Cutco? Is it cuckle? Is that what you said? Cutco? delay everyone but it went well so thank goodness we didn't get ringed on and does everybody know where uh, Portofino's is at yeah. okay there's directions on the back of the little cards there if anyone wants to grab one because you don't know where you're going not google it, huh? not google it. <laughs> She did exactly.